Revelation 19, King James Version. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments. For he hath judged the great whore which did corrupt the earth with her fornication and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And again they said, Hallelujah, for her smoke rose up forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne saying, Amen, Hallelujah. And a voice came out of the throne saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, ye that fear him both small and great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of, great, of a great multitude, as the voice of many waters, as the voice of a mighty thundering, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord our God, omnipotent, reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife has made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And he said unto me, Right blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus and worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw heaven open and behold a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. In righteousness doth he judge and make war. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns he had a name written that no man knew but he himself he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood his name is called the word of god the armies which are which were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen white and clean out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Of, and he that treadeth the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of Almighty God, he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. I saw an angel standing in the sun. He cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come, gather yourself together unto the supper of the great God, that ye may eat the flesh of kings, the flesh of captains, the flesh of mighty men, the flesh of horses, of them that sit on them, the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. The remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat on, upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. Amen to our King.